Hey, what's up, beauty babes, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't really have anything fun or exciting planned for content this week. I've been thinking of things to do, and like after the, you know, my dog picks my makeup stuff, like I had so much fun doing that one, but I've been trying to think of other like fun slash funny things to do. I'm trying to convince my husband to do the, my husband or my boyfriend or my significant other does my makeup challenge and he is being very reluctant he will not I repeat will not cave if you guys have any ideas for any fun makeup challenge or makeup related challenges for or videos that you guys would like to see me do please definitely post them in the comments down below um, or let me know or tweet me or whatever because um, I, I definitely need some ideas <laughs> uh, so let's let's just we're gonna do kind of like a Get ready with me, random thoughts from Allie. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and start. Where's my stuff at? Oh my god, I lost my foundation for a second. Like seriously, I'm really red today. Being a ginger is hard. Your skin is just so red all the time. What do you guys like doing first? Do you guys like putting your foundation and like your face and stuff on first? Or do you guys like doing your eyes first? I, I've switched depending on what eye look I'm going to do. Like if I know I'm going to be doing a certain eye look, then I'll do my eyes first. But like, is there actually like a rule that you have to do your eyes first or your foundation first? Let me know. Comment down below. I'm seriously obsessed with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Translucent Powder. Like, like my skin feels like silk after I put it on. I'm just like, oh. Because I like a matte face. I like to be matte. Like, I like to have a highlight and a good highlight, but I like to be matte for the most part because I'm oily as fuck, so I'm like, yeah. Now my brows, I gotta do my brows. I need to do my brows, do my brows, do, 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 do my brows. Let's do my brows. I honestly hate doing my brows. I wish I just would go get them microbladed, but I'm fucking poor. I want my eyebrows microbladed. I honestly think these are probably the most even I've had my brows ever. Well, they're pretty fucking close. I think they're almost twins. They're not like second cousins anymore. Uh oh. I need to do my eyes. Bandit! What color should I do my eyeballs? He don't care, he's too tired. He doesn't want to pick my makeup no more. I had so much fun doing that video. I seriously did. Like, I really hope y'all liked that video. If you haven't watched that video of my dogs picking my makeup, go watch it. Like, it was seriously so much fun for me to do. I, I was dying laughing editing it and also filming it too. Like, there was parts that I had to cut out because I was literally crying in tears because Bandit was being so goofy and weird. So, yeah. If you guys haven't watched that video, go watch it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in a mood today. Do you see all that judgment in his face? Oh god, he's so cute. 
I love my baby. I'm gonna take a Beach Therapy right here and use that as a transition shade. And then I'm gonna blend Aloha Beaches kind of more to deepen that crease area. There's a dog hair. Dog hair. Bandit, your hair got on my freaking shit. Okay, so when I cut my crease, I like, I'll go higher than what I normally do. So that way it gives a better illusion. So yeah, that is a cut crease for a hooded eye. And I always make sure like I pat it down so that it's not too crazy. But do you see how much like bigger my eyeball looks? And then once I get like the color on there, my crease goes away. Boom, cut creases. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take Galapagos and I'm going to kind of Blend the outer corner area over. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Beach Therapy and kinda finesse those two together. You know what? I need a darker shade on the outer corner area. So Galapagos isn't quite doing it for me. See if I can darken that up a little bit more. Oh, that's better. That's better. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Now let's see if I can't mess this up. <sighs> you guys ever just like not want to do anything? don't really want to do anything today. Oh my God, wing it. Are you done? Are you comfortable? Can you get comfy? Get ready with me. Now let's wing it. Okay. I, I hate doing wings, but I feel weird about it. So we're gonna wing. Should I do like a big wing? Should I do a big ass fucking wing? I loved how I started off being like, oh, we're just gonna do something simple. And I'm like, hmm, let's cut crease now. Fuck. Ooh, we winning. So I think what I want to do is I want to take those orange shades and put them on the bottom. I have the too much jean and I didn't know when to stop. My simple look turned into something a little bit more elaborate. Like Jesus Christ, this is gorgeous. <laughs> um, I want to go more too much and like I want to put Champagne Beach in the corner. Should I do it? Of course I should. Why not? Oh baby, hi! Did I do too much? Is it all over the place? A little bit, yeah. But you know what? Yeah, I'm doing makeup in the window. Got a problem with it, bitch? We share a driveway with like two, three, four other houses. So it's like five houses on one freaking driveway. And the neighbor to the left of us, we have some issues with. And she's very nosy. She's just 
What? She's staring at me and pointing at me and shit. So I film in front of a window, a giant window, because I don't have like expensive lighting and this is honestly like the best place for good lighting to do makeup in. And I open the window, like the blinds and stuff, so that the light can come through. But that also means that my neighbors can see me and so like they stare at me when I do these videos. Or when I do my makeup in general, but she's just jealous because I'm gorgeous. Not really. I wish. I feel like I'm not really talking a lot. Is this really a get ready with me if I'm not talking? Yeah. I don't know. I'm tired. I really. I'm. I'm tired, so this is probably a really crappy get ready with me because I really don't feel like I'm saying a whole lot. <sighs> and I'm almost done. Am I a crappy person? I'm sorry, I don't have a lot to talk about. I'm not a fun person. I mean, I can be, but. <laughs> I think after wearing these, I don't, so I don't like wearing lashes a lot because the lashes that I want to get are expensive and I, I don't know, taking care of lashes and stuff like that is expensive. You know, it's, it's expensive to get new ones because not a whole lot of them like are really easily to be reused and I am really good about cleaning my lashes but after a while. It's kind of impossible to clean your lashes when they're just so bad. So I, you know, do my best. But it doesn't always work. And I have usually two sets that I alternate between. So I'll like, I'll do one that's like a full strip and I'll put those on top always. And then I have one that's cut in half to where I put underneath. I love putting the ones underneath. I feel like that looks better for my eyes because of my hooded eyes that like sometimes it makes it harder to get the right placement and stuff. So I always go underneath because it always looks better. But I have to have them cut in half for that, which is a pain in the ass. I guess I could kind of turn this into a little bit of a tutorial on how I do my lashes underneath because I'm sorry this looks disgusting, but you take your lashes and you cut them in half like that okay you kind of cut them in half it helps to bend there are some that are like pre-cut into like fours and you could use those but i like doing the half ones because it's just easier it's just a one two instead of like one two three four it's easier so um i always go inner corner first then outer corner because that makes it super easy if you get the outer corner and then it's like kind of hard to get into the inner corner area if that makes sense so inner corner goes first um when you are going underneath it does help to kind of lift your eye area a little bit more you don't have to i usually do just to kind of like give it a little bit more access but you'll place it just underneath on kind of like the lash under lash line if that makes sense um but your glue is gonna go on the top part of the band this honestly going underneath looks and works a lot better when it's a very thin band and it's not like a thick band if the band is too thick it irritates your eye a lot more thin bands to where it's like clear in between the actual lashes like this um, these little wispy ones these are honestly the best to work with when going underneath like I said angle it kind of up and towards you pull up a little bit to where you can see that and place it right there and then you're gonna try not to blink on this one so you're just gonna push up Like that. There we go. And then you can take your tweezers and kind of fuse it a little bit more. Like 
like that. And then you gotta do the other one. So you're gonna take your lash and now this time you're gonna kind of pull out on the outer corner area and meet it up with your outer corner and place it and push up. Pinch. Get together. Like so. You get a little bit more of like a natural lash extension look when you go underneath. And it's like, I don't know, I just feel like it looks better. It's very comfortable, like, it's honest to God way more comfortable to wear my lashes underneath my eye than it is on top because I have such a difficult time placing on top, like a full strip lash. I've tried like using half lash things like I do for the under eye and placing it that way on top. I don't feel like it ever looks that great though because then you have that split in the center and it doesn't ever like mold right, I guess. I don't know. I just, this makes me feel like it's more of a, it looks more natural. It looks like a lash extension to me rather than just like a pair of false lashes on top. Ugh. I need to dye my hair again. I really do. What should I, what color should I dye my hair next? I've been thinking of doing like a, kind of like a turquoise, teal, aqua, marine, blue, maybe even darker, almost like, I don't know, but with like coral at the end. Mm. We talked about my hair in the, uh, one of my previous videos a little bit, but I've had a bunch of colors in there and I loved all the fun colors, but I kind of want to do like a blue and a coral look. I don't know. We're gonna, I don't know. I just want to do something fun. I'm bored. Sorry, this was kind of boring, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this makeup. Um, if you guys have any ideas for something fun and or challenging for me to do next time, go ahead and post them in the comments down below. If you guys would like to see my husband do my makeup, get me to a hundred subscribers and hopefully we can convince him to do my makeup because I would love to see that happen. Like seriously, love to see that happen. So me there okay so if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I post a new video every Monday for hashtag makeup Monday and also follow me on my other social media networks like Instagram and Twitter yeah thanks for watching guys I, I hope you guys enjoyed this so see you next time <laughs>